my mom stole $20,000 of my wedding money and gave it to my stepsister. The fallout is worse than I could have imagined. You don't need that much money for a wedding. Come, Come on, on, just go to a courthouse, pay 60 bucks. Piece of paper. Come on. My stepsister was going to get married this summer, but due to COVID, she had to postpone. Unfortunately, she ended up losing a lot of her deposits, and now her budget is less than half of what it used to be. Ouch. That sucks. She also has to buy a new dress slash bridesmaids outfit because she's now deciding to have a winter wedding instead. She's having to start from scratch. Also, is this like a Jon Snow like wedding dress? Like, what, what are we doing here for the yeah, winter like for wedding coats, dress? Like a polar bear. The wedding is coming. I am also engaged, but we're still in the early stages of planning and recently decided to try to figure out what our potential budget would look like. My mom and stepdad have saved wedding funds for each of us, which are 10K each. This is money we've always known we'd receive for our weddings, and my siblings have already received all of theirs. I was FaceTime with my mom, and she asked me about the wedding planning, and I mentioned that my fiance and I had opened a separate bank account for our wedding funds. I asked her if she could directly transfer the wedding fund into it when she was free. She started uh, being a little weird and avoided the question and then changed the subject. I got upset and asked her yet again. And she told me that they couldn't help with the wedding. Excuse me? You think you're getting that 10K? No way. I asked her what she meant. And she admitted my stepdad had given the money to my stepsister. I asked her why he would do that. And she mentioned how my stepsister had lost so much of her original budget due to the pandemic. And she would have to dramatically downsize her wedding. She came to them and begged to have my <laughs> wedding fund. And my stepdad agreed as my stepsister and her fiance both work low paying jobs and wouldn't be able to save the money up themselves in time. I could never imagine doing such a thing. The stepdad wants her to have that wedding, give her different money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wh where's your, where's your, your wallet, stepdaddy. Stepdaddy, I thought you were a filthy rich. My stepdad's justification is that my fiance comes from a quote unquote filthy rich family and that his family could make up the difference for what they would no longer be contributing. Apparently, he made a nasty joke about how fiance's dad was going to throw money at our wedding anyways and that maybe they should ask him to pay for stepsisters too. What? What and are we doing? All the way to the top. I was upset and so I ended the call. My mom has been calling me nonstop since and has even asked my other sister to call me and tell me to answer her calls. Also, move on the stepsister's part, I think, too. For real. When I told my sister what happened, she was angry, but not surprised because my stepdad has done similar things in the past. You've always heard of the evil stepmother, but never hear about the evil stepdad until now. Example, he gave part of my sister's college fund to the same stepsister because she wasted her monthly allowance partying. <laughs> my mom and stepdad have also sent me texts telling me I have have no right to be upset over what they chose to do with their money. My stepdad even said that since I'm petty, he's glad he never gave me a cent for my wedding. The more I calm down, the more I'm starting to wonder if I'm being a childish asshole. It's not like I've booked anything yet and now we'll have to change plans. My dad also contributed to my sister's wedding and I'm sure he'll offer to do the same for me. But then the other part of me wonders if it had been my stepbrother's wedding fund, would my stepdad be so quick to give it to my stepsister? So, am I the a-hole? We want to know what you think right this second. So, tippy top in those comments. But, John, what do you think? I do kind of get what they're saying where it's like, hey, ultimately, this is our money. That would be like, we were going to give this to you. But then it's just like, why make all these promises? And then why, like, rip it away at the last second? Ultimately, is OP entitled to the money? I would have to say no, probably. Yeah. But it's it's definitely an a-hole move to do do what they did. The yeah, way to they promise did it. it and take it away. Exactly. I feel it's also showing massive favoritism from the stepdad. But you know, there's there's some people that, that do bring us joy and happiness, Sam. That's our public freaking subscribers. And we've been reading comments from them lately. It's been an absolute blast. I want to read one right now. This was from the video, my cousin can't have a baby and I'm thrilled. Here's why. This is the one where OP announced their pregnancy and their infertile cousin was not happy about it. The comment comes from subscriber Kane Lovek. I get where OP is coming from. OP's sister probably had a hard time with her IVF treatments and OP was there for the sister when she faced homophobia, depression, and guilt slash stress about being pregnant or gay. E is homophobic and deserves no sympathy even when finding out that she had miscarriages because E is saying she wants the sister to lose her kids or she wants the kids to be messed up because the sister is gay. Even E saying that she doesn't need to apologize shows that 
she thinks her comments are right. And if OP apologizes, it will make the family force OP to fully apologize. Plus show OP doesn't approve of her sister's marriage slash pregnancy. Yeah, from what I remember from the story, E was definitely the a-hole, just like mm. just super vindictive and just generally not a nice person. But let us know what you think. Put those comments and make sure to subscribe because we love reading what you have to say. Love you guys.